My father is a symbol of everything I want to be. He married someone as amazing as my mom, had two overachieving children, and a career he truly loved. I would hear stories from my parents' life before I was born. As many of you could probably see, he was a big guy. In his early years, it was a lot of lifting and hitting the gym. But as he got older, his love for his muscles and cars turned into his love for his wife and kids. He went from a stick shift Volkswagen GTI to an eight-seater minivan. As I know him, his personality won everybody over. He was always that cool Uncle Andrew with all the cool video games. But to his family, he was the one that filled our basement with said video games. But he took care of us, and he took care of those he loved. As an officer, he would have loved for me to see, sorry. As an officer, he would have loved to see such an amazing event. But as a dad, he would have loved for me to see it. With every event he worked came groups of pictures sent my way. He wanted nothing more than to share with me what he did every day. And it is without a doubt that we can all say that he loved riding. He loved his bike, he loved training, and he loved his family. When I say family, I also mean the police family. You guys are his family. You are the ones he came to work every day to see. And I know you are grieving with us. I am so sorry that you have lost him, a friend, a brother. This past week, we have struggled to find the right word to describe him, but the truth is, there isn't one. Anyone who had the privilege of knowing him would agree. My dad had a lot of passions. Animals, cooking, Star Wars, video games, old movies. Him and I shared our love for animals, cats. Through an endless supply of memes, videos, and pictures across every possible messaging platform we had downloaded on our phones. And to be completely honest, in our day-to-day -day life, that was about 50% of our relationship. But it was something special we shared, something I have with no one else, something I can proudly say was one of many things we shared exclusively between father and daughter. These things he shared with us made him into such an interesting person with a never-ending supply of stories. It truly saddens me that I never got to hear them all. My dad taught me a lot of things. At home, we called him the king of useless information. Anything you're curious about, guaranteed he's read an article about it. I could ask him anything about anything, from the stock market to the groundhogs on the DVP. But aside from that, he also taught me many things I actually use in my everyday life. Through the driving lessons he gave me that started the night I got my license, I learned what an incredible teacher and role model he is. He was always so proud of me and always pushed me to learn more. Just recently in August, he taught me how to drive stick because he knew I could do it. He always supported me and he was always my biggest and loudest supporter in the stands at every one of my sports games. In every video he recorded, you hear his voice yelling and cheering. Dad, I am so sorry you won't be here to cheer me on in and out of sports. That day, we lost a hero. We lost a friend, a brother, a son, a husband, and a father. Mom, I am so sorry you lost him. Your partner in crime, the one you raised your kids with and did everything with. That day, my dad was taken from me, and he was taken too soon. He still had so much of his life to live, to share with his wife and kids, and so many more days out on that bike. Dad, I am so grateful to have spent my whole life with you. I am so grateful you met mom, were there to raise me with her, and continue to watch me grow as a person. I am so grateful you were in my life, and I am so sorry you aren't going to be here to watch the rest of it. But I know you'll always be with us. You'll be with all of us. You'll still watch my sports games, see me go to school, and watch over me as I navigate through the rest of my life. And I know you'll still be by mom's side, by our side. Dad, thank you for everything you've taught me. I won't forget it. I promise. Goodbye, Dad. Thank you, everyone, for gathering here today to honor the memory of my husband, Andrew Hong. I wanted to thank all the public officials, citizens, friends, and family for all the love and support you have shown me through this difficult time. I wanted to say thank you 
to all the first responders, to the police officers, firefighters, and paramedics. I see you. I wanted to say thank you to the families of the first responders. I see you. I thank you for your sacrifice and your support. I know that you are all grieving for him too. And I also wanted to say a special thank you to my friends, and especially to Daisy, Seville, Susie, Carol, Wendy, and mostly Analia. What you guys have done for me and my kids rotating around the clock and the way you have, I don't think I'll get through any of this without you and all the support that you have shown me. You all showed up for me during the most difficult time of my life and showed me the true meaning of family. And lastly, thank you to Rob, Pete, and Jay, and the rest of the police service for all the support you have given us. We didn't know how much we would need it. Andrew had two great loves in his life. He had TPS and he had his family. He worked for the police service for 22 years. He worked as a trainer in the motor squad, formerly known as the Wing Wheels. And when he was younger, we went to the retirement parties and he would often tell me, see those guys over there? They are the Wing Wheels and they are considered the elite group. And I can tell early on he wanted to be a part of the in crowd. And there was something about those motorcycles that he really loved. Andrew was always a typical guy that way. He had a love for airplanes, cars, motorcycles, fishing, video games, and yes, food. And being on those bikes was like him being a kid in a candy store. They are just so captivating with the loud revving engines and so shiny and colorful, especially when those lights go off. I know he wanted to be a part of that. And when he finally got in the club, he was so happy. He loved being on those bikes and doing all the details. And eventually he became a motorcycle trainer. And once that happened, I noticed a difference in him when he came home. He really enjoyed training new people on the bikes. And I can see he had a renewed sense of energy. His eyes would light up like lights and sirens every time he came home. And so I knew he was happy there. And I realized as time went on that being a trainer was where he belonged. He was really good at it. He really enjoyed helping others. And not only with Toronto, but also with other police services as well. He loved his team. He loved the bikes. He loved all the new people he would meet each and every day. He really loved his job. And when and would say to me when he would come home, I can't believe they pay me to ride a motorcycle. And I know all you guys in the motor unit were a big contributing factor to his happiness. You guys were his family at work and he loved you as much as he loved us at home. And that's why I always thought of you as the other woman. But I will always be eternally grateful to you because I know he was happy with you. So I wanted to say thank you to Dalwood and Shane and the rest of the motor unit for keeping his memory alive and honoring him in the way that you have. You have put his badge number on a car, his call sign 19 on all the bikes, and you never left Andrew alone, and you never left his family alone. Andrew would be so grateful to you for taking care of us the way you have, or it's either that, or he would be super jealous of all being my second husbands. Now, every time I would see the motor squad, you would remind me of Canada geese. And it's because of the way you ride together. You always ride as one. And I know the team is not the same anymore, and you miss him too. Andrew had quite the sense of humor. He would make people laugh over the ridiculous things that he would do. He was very comical and knew how to make people laugh, and everyone who knew him loved him. That was always Andrew. 
the other great love of his life was his family. He was such a great father and husband, and we absolutely loved spending time and family time together. Andrew was also a, a big foodie guy, and he loved to eat anything and everything. He just loved food, and because of him, we turned out to be a foodie family. He really loved living life. He loved to travel, and we'd go on great adventures together. We had lots of fun as a family, and all four of us loved our family vacations. It was our thing to bond as a family and to recharge our batteries and enjoy family time. And we did that every year from the time our kids were born. Our motto as a family was always work hard and play harder. And that's what drew me to him when we first met. We always had a lot of fun together. He was my best friend. To my children, Mia and Alex. I am sorry your father is no longer here with you. He left us so suddenly, and he had so much more to give. Your father was such a giving man, and you know he really loved you. When he would sacrifice his last piece of food for you to eat. Your dad loved living life. He would want us to carry on and live life to the fullest as he did. He lived hard, laughed hard, loved hard, and worked hard. He was so incredibly proud of you kids. He loved watching your sports games, music concerts, and was so proud to see you guys achieve the way you have in school. He never would want you to stop striving because he is not here with us. He knows how incredibly brilliant both you kids are and would want you to keep going on and don't stop pursuing your dreams. Even though he will not be physically here with us, just like your dad, you must learn to ride on. And just like your dad, we too will learn to ride as one. That picture you saw of Andrew posing and that last picture of the video, that picture shows everything about who he was. He was a big man with a big personality. He was larger than life. He was fun-loving, charismatic, a good father, and a good husband. He was a dedicated worker and protector. And just like that picture, he truly was a hero. And to my kids, their dad will always be their hero. Andrew gave me and my kids so many beautiful memories over the years. And although our time has been tragically cut short, I know Andrew would always be our hero and protector from up above. We miss him every day, and our home will always feel empty without him. Tomorrow would be our 21st wedding anniversary. And this year is the first year we are not celebrating together. So Andrew, if you are listening, please know that you will always and forever be the greatest love of my life. Happy anniversary.